Rain, rain, don't go away. Keep pouring every moment of the day. Because an Indian cricket fan doesn't want his team to play. Why does an Indian cricket fan doesn't want his team to play? Why does he think it is the rain that will save the day? Well, before all of you jump to conclusions and come for, come for my throat, let me tell you this. The answer to this question lies in one another question, a very simple one. How much is the duck worth, Lewis? The Duckworth Lewis method, which is the most convoluted algorithm in mathematics associated with our sport, which is very difficult to understand even for the greatest of math majors, let alone common men like us. But guess what? It is the ultimate source of truth as accepted by the ICC, and, and it also gives us the numbers that matter the most. So let me come straight to the business and talk about the possibilities for tomorrow. Number one, according to me, the most favorable for India. If it just keeps pouring, keep raining, just like the forecast says, with 90% chance of rain, with showers that keep on increasing towards the latter part of tomorrow. If that holds true, it's a total washout. Just because India were excellent during the group stages and topped the group, they go through to the finals. But what happens if it doesn't rain so much? Well, as of now, if New Zealand don't bat anymore, India get 46 more overs to chase down a total of 237. With 40 overs, they have somewhere around 209 and then the numbers follow. But that's not exactly the problem for India. The problem for India happens when it's raining, but it's not raining enough. In that case, when the overs start getting docked and anything that goes below the 30 over mark, suddenly things start favoring New Zealand. At the 20 over mark, like a 20 overs a side game, 148 is what India is looking at. A lot of you might think like 148 in a T20 game, well, I'll just take it on any day. It's it's possibly below par looking at the T20 standards. Agreed. But there are a few other factors for tomorrow. One, it's the semi-final of the World Cup. A lot of pressure associated with it. India, the favourites, additional pressure. Always a pressure when you play for India. Forget all of this. Let's talk about tangible aspects. The weather. It's going to be overcast. It's going to be damp. It's rained overnight. Do you really want to face the likes of Bolt, Lockie Ferguson, Matt Henry? And don't forget Colin de Grandom. Why I say don't forget him, I'll tell you in a bit. So in that case, it's difficult for India. So the best scenario, it should just wash out. The rain should be so much that the game gets washed out. But in a realistic with all expectation, with everybody talking about having a fair game, everybody getting their own chances, anything in excess of 30 overs, like I said before, India are in with a definite chance and they are the favourites. Anything below 30 overs, I'm not counting them out. You cannot count the decorated and the very talented Indian batting lineup, which is currently in form, out. But all I'm saying is, it's going to be a tricky chase and they need to bat out of their skins to win it. Now, why did I mention Colin de Grando? Uh, I think some connection issues, but anyway. So I, I was saying he's similar to Saro Ganguly and so you give him a set of conditions like they are in Manchester right now. What we saw today is something totally different. It's not an ODI, it's a TDI like they say, a two-day, one-day international. Is this something we are seeing for the first time? Certainly not. In the city of Birmingham, in the same country of United Kingdom, back in 1999, India faced off against England and it was a two-day affair. And guess who the man of the match was? It was Saurav Ganguly, who took three wickets, three crucial wickets, one of the opposition opening batsmen back then, Nasir Hussain, who was probably the best batsman in that lineup on that day. And that's what changed the game in India's favour. So, for all the fans out there who look for predictions and things to look after, if New Zealand are to win, and if there's one player who will make a big impact tomorrow, it's going to be Colin de Grandom. I'm making a brave call. I'm choosing him above Matt Henry and the Trent Bolts and the Lockie Ferguson's. But I think in this set of conditions, the diddly doddly medium seamers are the ones who actually get the wickets. The others keep it tight. These guys win you, win you the games. But it's not over. I'm not saying India is out. To all the fans, I'm an Indian cricket fan myself. It's definitely India's game. They, have, they are on top right now. They've done amazing with the bowling. Only the set of conditions that are available at Manchester is what favours a little bit in New Zealand's favour. They say in soccer, Manchester is often painted red. Off late, it's being painted blue. Will Manchester in cricket be also painted blue tomorrow or will it be painted black? Well, only time will tell. Until tomorrow, after the game, when we meet once again for this kind of a show and hopefully it's bright and sunny right here in Tampa, Florida like we all like. And hopefully, 
bright and sunny back there in Manchester as well. Until then, this is Yash Khandor for the International Cricket Network signing off. Bye for now and take care.